Well, talking about a big pile of shit. Um, <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> Someone, someone I think it's like your one. I was like, oh no, it's not Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Another VR game. Well, I've got a little, uh, a little jingle for because I, I always do a VR. I always do a VR section for some reason. I've that like lost three out for some that reason. Year's resolution. <laughs> you yeah. even said on the chat multiple times, "I'm going to try and do a VR game every time." <laughs> yeah, it's only because Mark joked about it, and I was like, "I'm going to fucking do it." <laughs> I'm, pr- I'm, I'm convinced you live in VR. Like the fact you take the heads off to see us yeah. is enough. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And that's in VR now. This is his VR talking to us. I'm actually, you know, those avatars that you get for the metaverse. I'm actually an avatar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually a person. Wait, you picked that avatar? <laughs> Matt's an android. I'm actually Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Wait, is Matt an android or the a guy who's dressed as a human? subway employee just dissed you so hard, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ I've got a little jingle to go with my segment here you go look reality ah! sake. <laughs> so there's some context there with that screen <laughs> and also Addison gave me the idea for that so thank you um <laughs> <laughs> But the context is, that is a genuine scream <laughs> of me. Oh, right. <laughs> from Jur- Wait, from, from this playing game. this game. So I played Jurassic World Aftermath, which is, of course, a VR game. What? <laughs> I know. And surprisingly, it's exclusive to the Oculus Quest 2. <laughs> no, that's actually a good thing, because last time it was the, the PlayStation oh, Hitman that caused one. the problem. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah, that was pretty shit. Yeah. Um, this is not as good as the Star Wars one, but better than the Hitman Resident one. Four again. I was like, it's not, I was like, Matt, it's not as good as that Resident Evil Four. Too high. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> is as good as Resident Evil Four. You peaked early. That's the problem. <laughs> it's all downhill. You played the best VR game of all time. So this this is a, a game set on the Jurassic World universe or Jurassic Park universe, I suppose. But it's set after Jurassic World. I think the latest one, which is Fallen is Kingdom. Dominion? Yeah. Oh that's yeah, but the Dominion's not. That's June, isn't it? This year. Is that oh Dominion? yeah, no. Oh yeah. uh, right. Yeah. What was the last it's, one? it's basically Fallen after the Kingdom. collapse. Fallen ah. Kingdom. It's basically just after the collapse of the park, basically, or the, the world. Um, so you got so the sad he... Brachiosaurus, haven't you? There's, the dust is coming down, and he's just there, like. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think you see. You might see him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. You've lost, you've lost me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> sad <bracket> <laughs> uh, Are those the ones with the long necks? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. In the, he's in this game. He is in this oh. game. Yeah. He survived. So, is it sad, though? Is it a sad one? Uh, no, he's just chilling. He's just eating some veg. Okay. <laughs> Not the so original. pre dust yeah. world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um... So yeah, so you you're going on. You're basically you're part of this like a research team set to go and just like you know check out the park. The story is actually like pretty boring, so I didn't really pay attention that much. Surprisingly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's not it's not one of those games that you pick up for the story. Literally, every time there was like any story elements, I was just switched off completely until they brought in the voice of Jeff Goldblum. Oh, actual Jeff Goldblum, I think. I'm pretty sure it was. Actual. I haven't actually fact checked that, but it sounded exactly like him. So, if they did, if they got someone else, bravo, because that was really good. But I'm pretty sure it's amazing impersonator. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's quite easy to impersonate him. I'm not going to try it. Uh, uh, (laughs) Uh, uh, Chaos. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, There you uh, go. uh... (laughs) Not your best. Put your glasses back on, Sam. Here he goes. Oh my god, it's Jeff. Uh, 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 no one's going to see this, but... <laughs> chaos. <laughs> I can't think of any other There's nothing else he says, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Hold on. Uh, 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 must go faster. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is It's like Sonic, isn't it? Jesus. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> I swear to God, if Matt starts com- trying to say that Jurassic Park is like Sonic in any way, like he's almost, <laughs> with Among Us, fuck off. Before I talk about the game anymore, I have, of course, I have a video clip to show you guys, and it will also, it will obviously be audio for for the people listening. But right, show your screen, Matt. I'm gonna put it on the Instagram. 
Get ready for no, this. No, we can't see your screen. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> We, Which we just see a black screen. Matt. <laughs> black screen. <laughs> How do I do audio? I've forgotten. <laughs> you're on mute. Oh, fuck's sake. Sandra, you're on mute. <laughs> Sandra. Welcome. Is it moving? To Jurassic yes. World. Yes, going. It yeah. is a dinosaur. Get out of my fucking face. <laughs> no, thank you. Fucking T-Rex. Right. Fucking Hello. graphics on this thing. Oh, it's interesting. Well, it's it's so pretty, yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of that game 13. Can you play that? It's a bit like that. What the uh, I was thinking, um... The Bubbers! Uh, the Bubbers! Don't eat him! I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, uh, him. Borderlands, you think. Hello, Borderlands. Bubbers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out there. I'm watch. It's a fucking dinosaur! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this does not seem like a good idea! Oh! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Fucking dinosaur! Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Where, where are you? Oh, I froze a minute. Come on, bruv. You know. Come on, bruv. Oh shit, there he is. Oh. Ah! <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing they're yeah, having yeah. a mic attack. They are Fuck genuine. <laughs> genuine fucking fucker, screams. Bitch. The man is sorry, just names. screams. <laughs> oh no, no, no! <laughs> oh, you, you, you. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> fucking oh. hell, man. This is the most stressful game I've ever played. <laughs> Why'd you become normal? You win here. <laughs> you win here. Oh yes, you win. Holy shit. <laughs> holy <laughs> fucking shit. It's basically me saying holy, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I'm sure this was terrifying, <laughs> but uh, the like, the graphics oh. are so cartoony. They are, yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. Very yeah like, shit. Takes away from the, the whole yeah. edge. I'm dead. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck fuck off. Fuck off. You're a wank thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not happening. You spend most of the game hiding fuck in a fucking self. locker. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more like alien. alien. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, well, I'll talk no, about it no, no, in a sec. No. 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 No, no, no. It's blue, yeah. This is gonna be shit. <laughs> this is gonna be shit. And, uh, partially it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, like you said, it's very alien. 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 Can't say alien isolation. <laughs> I, I it's very alien isolation esque, I guess. Um, they you got to, like, hide from velociraptors, which is what I was doing in that. And you got to hide in lockers. Similar to Alien Isolation, they clearly got their inspiration from that game. Um, yeah. So you literally, I think I, the game was about six or seven hours. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes in two parts as well, so that's two parts. But I spent—I reckon half of that was in a locker or under a desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah. It well, seemed fucking, like it from the footage. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I try and with like the VR games, I try and if you need to crouch, I normally do it. Like I actually do it. But after like half an hour, my knees were like clicking. I was like, nah, I'm just going to have to do this, like just pressing the button, crouch, because fuck that. I'm not getting on the floor that many times. You spend most of the game on the fucking floor. So. <laughs> oh my God. But um, yeah, so it's a bit of a, a one trick dinosaur, you might say, instead of a one trick pony. No, we don't. No. <laughs> I would laugh, but like... you did a worse job than the two kids in the first film. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's it's you you've got to hide from Velociraptors while you're basically looking around Jurassic Park, which sounds like a really cool idea, and it is to yeah. start with. Like for the first hour, it is shit scary because you could tell on that there was like <laughs> not very manly manly screams, but <laughs> they were genuine <laughs> screams because it is pretty fucking terrifying when you've got a dinosaur jumping at you and you gotta you know try and survive by hiding from it. Um, yeah, but it's literally pretty much that for the whole game. Mm. There's not much mm. change in it, and you kind of you get to a point where it's like, all right, I know what to do now. I'm just going to hide under there, hide there for a bit, wait for it to go past, move on. It's a bit, yeah. I guess Alien Isolation is similar, but I feel like with Alien Isolation, it's not as scripted right. as it is in Jurassic World. It's kind of it's really obvious where there's going to be Velociraptors. Oh, okay. Like there, there are only lockers and places to hide where the Velociraptors are. Right. <laughs> Which is you know it's a bit. Yeah, pants, I guess. They kind of change it up in the second part where you're actually... There's a good bit where the T-Rex 
because I was literally I, I I almost stopped playing it before the T Rex because it was getting so boring, and I was just like I'm so bored of this. It's just not not really grabbing me at all. Story wasn't oh, good. Oh wow! And the gameplay is like it's very limited. It's very minimalistic for a VR game. You can't pick mm. up anything. There's some puzzles mm. to do in it, like little light puzzles, like hacking games, our favourite. Um, yeah, so you can't yeah. stab a Velociraptor in the butt. No, you can't stab a Velociraptor in the butt, unfortunately. Oh. Which you Could you hit throw man, so. something? No, you couldn't throw something. Which couldn't even throw something. I know. So you've got you've basically got this wrist tool thing, where you, so you can like point at electronic devices and like set them off. And I was like, if I had like a can. Like a can or something. That that would be more interesting to throw that, I feel. Throw a can. Not, rather than pointing my wrist at something and setting it off for the dinosaur to go look at it. For five oh, that reminds me of my clip in Alien Isolation where I try and throw the noisemaker and then throw it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's very limited. But uh, what I was going to say anyway was um, with the T-Rex scene is, is pretty good because like, once the T-Rex comes... It's that it, it then goes to that trope where oh, you've got to stay motionless while the T Rex is there. So there's T Rex okay. is looking at yeah. you, and it's pretty fucking terrifying because it's huge. Um, yeah, and you've got to stay totally still. I, the first couple of times it was a bit like janky. I was trying to, I was staying still, but it was like literally like because for some reason like Oculus Quest Two, like the controllers, like they're very sensitive. So if you move slightly, it it shows. Well, so, it sounds like you still fucking moved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, slowly. I was, trying to be, the game. I was trying to be still, but I couldn't. Sam Neil would be very disappointed in you. <laughs> Who's Sam Neil? <laughs> Who's Sam? <laughs> Kick him out. Um, Alan. Alan. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so, that was pretty cool for art. And, you know, you got to go through this bit, try and get through without the T Rex seeing you. It's pretty exciting, but then again, it kind of it goes back to the Velociraptors after that, and it's kind of a bit, eh. Mm. It's kind of good. There's a bit with like a final like fight, I guess, with with Blue, which is not really a fight. You just have to hide from it and do puzzles while you're hiding from Blue. I was like, mm, okay, I don't really care, but all right. So, I haven't seen the second film. Does Blue become like a bad? Well. A bad well, dinosaur sounds weird. Well, he's, he's, like, he's a velociraptor, so he's not yeah. exactly a good guy. Does he become yeah. his natural self? Um, they don't really play like, on Blue in the second one. He's, there's obviously uh, the, the whole thing of like Blue, Echo, well, whatever the other names are. But yeah. the mm. first film was really played up to Blue, wasn't it? Was well, maybe this is why, like, because of this. Maybe this is set in between the two films, because, I think because it of is what in happens there. in it. Yeah. Oh, but, um, maybe not. Because the second uh, film was all about the Indominus Raptor. Yeah, but I think Blue is still in it. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. they use blue to help out. Yeah. Yeah, because blue has got like monitor lizard DNA or some shit. I think that's what they're oh, trying. Right. To, that's what they're trying to tell me in the VR game. I was like, I What's really do not lizard? care about a fucking monitor lizard. <laughs> <laughs> What's a monitor um, lizard? I don't. Know. It's a fucking lizard. It's a big lizard. They check. They check. <laughs> people don't go in, checking people don't go in the halls without pass. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop, crypto <crippled> scum. <laughs> So like, that's why there's lizard people in the <laughs> Skyrim, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, okay, do you yeah. ca- do you guys care about the story? Can I just tell you what's going to happen at the end of it? You go for uh, if, it. If you ruin sure. a VR story for me, I'm not going to cry because I'm sure I'll you're not. It's, it's really spoilers. not that interesting as well. But um, spoilers. For yeah. Me. If you have spoilers, it, spoilers for this too. game, but basically, the one of the doctors who's the guy, the person you or the woman you come to the island with, she. Decides she's going to... She's a dinosaur. Sorry? She's a dinosaur. <laughs> she's actually a dinosaur, yeah. <laughs> she's actually she good. she kind of has like a, a change of heart, basically. And she goes, right, fuck these velociraptors. I'm going to fucking kill them. I'm like, why are we killing these velociraptors? Like, they're just animals. They're just doing what they do. Why would you want to yeah. kill them? How fucking mean. Do you have to... Does the game like make you join in? Does it give you a well, gun? Well, basically, it doesn't give you a choice. There's no choice. It's just a linear story. So you story. can't try. It's not. You don't give you a gun. No. <laughs> but she blows them up. You have to kill the Velociraptors. Yeah, she she basically like she lures them in and she blows them up. So you don't really have a part in it, I suppose. But it's kind of oh, like, okay. well, why? Yeah. I don't really think this is a good thing anyway. So why are we doing it? Um, but so sure, the sad Brachiosaurus will be in this then. <laughs> yeah, sad, but uh, Blue won't because he gets 
he gets eaten by a T-Rex. So oh, <laughs> what? Or she gets spoilers. <laughs> I just he said, said he was going to do spoilers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is in the second one. Probably, yeah. I mean, I can't <laughs> imagine this is canon. <laughs> no. Imagine if it no. is. We rewatch like West Blue. Oh, that's West why. Because oh, in that VR yeah. game yeah. aftermath. It was yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Weirdly, so... it's got. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it's got really good reviews online. Um, this game, and I don't really understand why. Maybe people don't play that many VR games. <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's what she yeah. It's probably no like. Does. It's probably great if you're like you know someone's parent and you like you're playing a VR game for the first time. Like, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Or would you not think it'd be enjoyable? Would it, would it be enjoyable to someone that's not played Resident Evil Four? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure. Like, I mean, obviously, people online love it, and it's good. It's a bit long, I suppose. If if you if you're new to VR, I wouldn't perhaps. How pick far this up. apart were those two halves released? Uh, like a month afterwards, I think it came out the second half. Maybe so, it would be better if you had like a big gap. Like I had that. a break, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, I think that was. And the second part's better. It is the better yeah. half. There's some pretty cool, you know, set pieces in it. Um, you have to like open a vault, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's some there's some cool things in it, but like none of the environment is really recognize recognizable. Um, mm-hmm. which you kind of, I guess, you kind of want that from a Jurassic World theme park. Um, but I didn't yeah. really recognize any of it. It was just like that main courtyard, that circle courtyard. That was the only bit I recognised, really. Ah, um, so we, were you not on Isla Nublar? Or the other one? Sauna. <laughs> Isla Sauna. Sauna. I, don't I don't know which one the park's on. So. Steam room? It's, on the I think. One. <laughs> it's the same one as Jurassic World. Whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, I think that's Sauna. <laughs> Steam room. <laughs> Could you not get margaritas as well? No, you couldn't pick up anything, really. <laughs> Yeah, but that I mean it's it's okay. It's an all right game, but I found it really boring. But maybe it's because I binged it to finish it before the podcast. 